Do do. Oh yeah, there we are. Oh my god, this is so nostalgic. Look at the fucking. I remember those guys so well. Uh, what's he gonna do? Is his tongue gonna whip out? Just like oh, oh, I figured he'd actually just try and eat it. But all right. Oh no. Oh no! Look out, Mr. Iguana Man! Oh! Ooh! Oh my god, this game is violent. <laughs> oh, I love it. Welcome to a brand new Gator Snapper playthrough, and one that is very special, very nostalgic to my, my little inner boy heart. Jurassic Park. This is Turok Evolution, what Jurassic Park wishes it fucking was. I play this game all the time at my friend's Ryan house as a kid, and... It was so, it's so fucking, I don't know, I, let's, listen, I'm nostalgic for it, it's just, for me, it's got a bunch of fucking blood and gore and campaign material and all sorts of fun stuff, and that's what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna run through this campaign, because I was like, what haven't I played but I'm super nostalgic for, and I was like, Tarok Evolution, right there, so yeah, so, let's see, things to know about this game, it is absurdly violent from what I remember, it was very gory, rather, there's lots of things where, like, you fucking blow off heads or you have weapons that like dig through like people's body parts and pop them off oh yeah and you could just shoot people's body parts off i don't know i've got good memories of it it's probably what inspired me to be the sociopath that i am these days i'm not a sociopath and nowadays the violence doesn't do it for me i do the hardcore shit now but yeah i know this is definitely one of those games i imagine concerned christian parents would be like i don't want my children playing this or else they'll get all all creepy and scary and want to stab me in my sleep. No, no, that's because of your attitude, not because of the games. Uh, yeah, that's that'll get me all the brownie points. It's okay. I doubt any fucking concerned Christian parents would be watching these playthroughs anyway, so I'm not worried about it. And also, what? Oh, oh, wait, no, we weren't done yet. No, I was gonna say, I was literally about to say we need to sit through these credits because there's a fucking important cutscene at the front of it, and then it just fucking cuts right the fucking through it. Was it my controller? Was it because it was trying? To, uh, God. This is that new controller I was talking about before, where uh, it will it, it uh it's the old one from uh, Red Faction Guerrilla. So if I it it always moves me back into the left. So I don't know. I don't know what cutscene would be fucking canceled by my movement, but apparently that one did. Maybe the maybe the buttons. One, I thought in Lost Planet Three one of the buttons might have been busted and pressing itself on its own, but. Oh, this makes me sad. I really wanted to fucking see that cutscene, and I don't really want to... I don't even know if games like this have the option to fucking uh, just restart. I don't know. Let's see. I'll give it one shot. I'll edit. I'll edit. That's what I'll do. We'll see. So everything they show in these credits, too, is also uh, setting up for uh, things that happen throughout the game. Like that little Zeppelin blimp thing there is something... I think it's a level or part of one of the flying stages you go through. I don't remember. This, I think, is just the world map. Like, this is the world that you are transported into. Nice looking place. I don't know how... Those islands look very fucking... I don't know if those islands look very odd, but then again, I don't quite know how islands form. Oh, those things! Those are in some of the flying missions you do here. This game is so fucking cool. It's like, uh, there's a there's people that are... I th okay, sorry, I might be butchering how this whole story goes because I played this game as a kid. No, it just automatically skips. Wow, I don't know what's doing that, but I guess we're not going to see the opening cutscene. Gator Snapper of the future, I guess just fucking look for it on Google and throw it in right here. The Lost Land. A world born of chaos. An unholy offspring conceived during the death of a universe. This world has known nothing but suffering, death, and war. Dealt out for centuries by an unending succession of madmen and tyrants. There are other worlds bound to the lost land. Other peoples that have suffered as the people of my world have suffered. Tyranny, it seems, knows no bounds. And cruelty wears many faces. The fates of all worlds are intertwined, and the lives of millions may hinge upon the life of a single man, or the death of another. It's him. The one this year spoke of. That ain't no raptor bite. We should leave him. Bring him to the village. 
He could be a spy. Or a refugee, Jung. He's dangerous. He's dying, Jung. He's no threat to anybody here. We thought it best to summon you. Indeed. Our healers have tended to him day and night, but he continues to weaken. I see. It is not your time to die. When he wakes, bring him to me. I hope it doesn't skip all the fucking cutscenes. That'd be very annoying. But yeah, from what I remember, I think this whole world is like different uh, moments in time. This is like the drop-off point. It's like that thing in Thor Ragnarok where all things from the universe get thrown into this area and basically what's amounted to is this crazy fucking mix of time and aliens and shit. So there's dinosaurs, there's weird lizard people, there's humans that live in futuristic societies. And then we got our main boy here, who I believe his name is just Turok. He is the son of stone. He's like a faded champion of this world or something. Like, he's here to save everybody or some nonsense. I don't know, probably might have been explained in the opening cutscene, but I don't know, do I? Uh, and let's see, oh, we got our fucking tomahawk axe to start with. I, I, oh, ew, inverted up and down. Hell no, we're not dealing with that, I hope. Uh, control setup, I hope I could just fucking change, oh no, advanced options perhaps? Uh, invert look off, no, we are not doing, we are doing none of that, please. There we go, and just to make sure that I actually remembered that option. Okay, cool, we are good to go. I should probably turn rumble off too, since this controller apparently believes in the whole rumble option, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. So yeah, here we go, oh man, playing, this is, this is like playing... This is just like Jedi Outcast to me. Oh, oh, fuck you. Haha. -ha. I, I knew there was something wandering around here. So yeah, here we are violently beating down dinosaurs. I'm the son of stone here to save the world. I'm already fucking killing the natural wildlife that lives out here. Oh yeah, and you're, you fuckers are loud. I know you're here. And I remember how to play. As long as I strafe back and forth wildly, no one can stop me. Oh, hello. The fucking violent music started playing, and I see there's someone over there. I believe... Oh, I remember those guys. They're the thin boys. The thin lizard boys. They have, a. Uh, they're just, oh, I can charge this up too, can't I? Yeah, I can. Hey, buddy. Hey, don't mind me. Ha, fuck you. Oh, and there goes his arm. God, these guys are so nostalgic to look at. Oh, and they have all the slow death animations. Oh, thin boy. You, you were not ready for this. And then, can I just pick up his gun? Oh, no, that's the one of the gun. That's, okay. So there's certain guns I can get, but that was one of the ones that's just there. I don't know. I don't think that has a weapon I could pick up. Oh, and look, we have all the beautiful dinosaurs in nature here. Oh, and those guys, oh, this is so fucking nostalgic for me. Oh, man, there's that asshole over there. I need to look out for him. He will actually try and shoot me if he spots me. But yeah, God, I'm super into this already. Uh, so these guys, uh, all of these dinosaurs, oh, I need the pistol, fuck me. Uh, all these dinosaurs, if you attack them, will actually fucking go after you, so I'm going to avoid them. Oh, and this is what I need to go ahead and open up here, to progress onwards. Uh, this is one of those games where I actually have to watch my health. I don't think I get shields, although it looks like there's a slot for it, so maybe. Then there's these little guys. This is just one of those games where I could violently go around killing every random animal I see, but I'd feel a little bad doing it. Yeah, but I did it anyway, so who fucking cares? Hey, hello. Ow, fuck, he got me. Oh, but, oh, that's... Oh, shit, I don't have shields. That slot was for my fucking ammo. Okay, well, that's fine. I forgot I had a bow and arrow available, so that's... Yeah, right in the fucking head. This is good. Oh, and what did you drop? I believe that is a key, perhaps. Let's go ahead and grab that. Yeah. Oh, just grabbing it opens the gate. Oh, and I thought I'd have to grab, like, two of them or something. Cool. Well, do I get a sniper rifle? How do I switch? Why? Okay, there's, like, a, a, a handier option for switching, though. Because in this game, you get, like, a shit ton of different weapons. So it'll be kind of... Oh, boy, that did damage. That's wonderful. Oh, is that a little saber-tooth kitty? Little saber-tooth kitty? Hello? Hello, little saber-tooth kitty? No, oh, he died. Oh, that, that, whatever that was, it is dead. I think it's actually a monkey of some sort. All right, well, let's just leave it be. Those, th th that, I wonder, I don't think it chases after me. I think it just, um, this might be a bad idea, but let's shoot him anyways. Hey, buddy. No, I guess that's too far away. God, I can't believe my fucking bow and arrow has a range like that to it. I think, I think, because from what I remember, this, oh, oh, yeah, there, he, no, he's coming for me. No, no, he's not. Okay, yeah, that just runs in a, like, a little circuit around this area. Oh, it's knocking trees over. That's so advanced for a game of this time period, I'm sure. But, yeah, I don't want to go around killing the innocent uh, Triceratops. I've done it before, and I felt bad because his kid's over there. This whole game is just, like, testing your morals, it seems. And I don't want to get too close to the Stegosaurus. Otherwise, he might hit me with his oh, his tail. Hello, who's doing that? You. Ha ha. My bow and arrow skills are powerful. Fuck me. There's a lot of these guys, apparently. 
Okay. Wow, it feels so easy to aim in this game compared to modern games. I feel like I'm good using a bow and arrow. I'm some filthy Hanzo main. As as Turok, the son of stone, I am a Hanzo main, it would seem. Alright, fuck. Oh, well, shit. I was trying to not waste my ammo, but I guess I did anyways. I don't know if I can pick them up or not, but we'll worry about that later once it, uh, once we get down to it. Oh. Oh, B apparently switches weapons too. Good to know. Now I have two options for that. Oh, look at that. We already beat the first level of the game. So good at this. Oh. And then the guy in the left little portrait there, I think he's the one that brought us here, and he's like, We need you to save the world. Raptors are seldom encountered alone. Beware these ferocious predators have a taste for human flesh. Don't know why they never knew what a human was. I guess they fucking found out in this crazy fucking universe. I don't know. Right, and I was about to say, hmm, would a raptor really care about what a human tastes like? Probably not. Predators don't really have uh, good taste buds. Everything to them is just meat and food. But uh, they would still be have a hankering for human flesh, I imagine. Being a predator and being that humans are kind of uh, they derpy compared to these, like evolutionarily designed killing machines that raptors are. I mean, fuck. If I could have, like, a deadly knife just growing out of my big toe, I'd be down for that. Don't know when I'd need it. I'd probably always have to wear, like, sandals, but I'd be down. I'd, I'd take up, like, kickboxing, too. Oh, hello, little boy. Hello, little buddy. You just hanging out with your, your dead ma? Or maybe it's not really your ma. Maybe it's just, like... A raptor that you you were like, I want to get some some feeding off of that, and I know you're violent too, so I'm just gonna put you out of your misery now. Oh God, look at the explodey gore. I miss the explodey gore. I wish they did that with like the new and improved graphic systems they have these days. It'd be so good. Oh, that's one of them raptors there that has a hankering for a human flesh. Let me just go and shoot it with my bow and arrow. No, no. See, that's creepy. They take one arrow shot and then it's it, it disappears. Oh fuck me. And I there's no way to just undraw my bow. I gotta be careful about my ammo conservation. Okay, but yeah. Both of the raptors, because there was one up there too, they are now somewhere waiting for me. It's not like games nowadays where they it's like a random location each time. They pop up, I believe, just as I come up here. They might come up behind me, maybe. I don't know. Now I'm actually kind of scared. That leaf kind of tricked me up. Alright, I'm here. Ra oh, there you are. Hey, hey buddy. Are you going to come straight at me? Okay, well, this is a little dumb. There we go. Oh, he's coming for me, though. Hey, no, bad. Don't, no more calling. No calling your raptor buddies. Pick up my arrows again. Okay, so some of the some of the aggression for the AIs is a little dumb, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to fucking... Oh, oh, okay. They are... F oh, man, he's speedy. He's dodging my arrows. He's doing it on purpose. It's not my aim being bad, I swear. Okay, I just... Oh, is there another one? There's always another one. That's how raptors work. That's why they are called the clever girls. Uh, okay. And the, ooh, wow. I don't quite remember. Okay, so here's another story with this. Oh, whoops, sorry. That is not the jump on. Uh, another story similar to how I went through, um, what's that game called? Star Wars Jedi Outcast. This game I got by using a lot of cheats for the most part. You, as you can see, because my aim is absolute shit. But yeah, I went through this game with like unlimited ammo, unlimited health. It was it was a bad time. I also skipped a lot of levels, so I won't be an expert uh, at going through the levels here like I was in Star Wars Jedi Outcast, which, oh yeah. Oh, I need the tech bow for those arrows. Yeah, I wouldn't really call myself an expert at Jedi Outcast either, but... I did know more of the levels in that game than in this game, so I will occasionally get lost and confused. Because trust me, there were many levels that I skipped throughout this game. And I'm just going to pretend this game... Uh, well, I thought he'd be too stupid. Oh, fuck, I blew his arm off? No, I think I took his, his weapon away somehow. That's cool. Hey, hey, you don't have a weapon anymore, bro. How do you... Ah, uh, he's like trying to surrender to... Yeah, like I said... This game tests your morals, and uh, let's just say I'm not feeling very uh, moral right now. So let's just go around killing all these poor people. I mean, I okay, I because I don't remember the fucking opening cutscene. I don't know if I really have a reason to just be going around killing them like this, but I'm gonna assume that it was like a, they they did something to me where I was like, okay, I can't trust these guys. I have to go around killing them. Is that the case? I don't know. Maybe they're innocent. No idea. Until I find out, well, I mean, as a player, I already know that they're going to try and fuck me over. I think the whole deal with this story is that the, like, reptilian folk are trying to take over the world, and the humans are like, no, we can't have that. 
But, you know, you can always turn any story around on its head to get the other perspective. Maybe the humans are the assholes and the lizards are trying to reclaim their lost lands. I would believe it. Sounds accurate to me. Uh, how do I crouch in this game? Hmm, this might be a... Oh, it's, oh, that's weird. Okay, well, I don't have to worry about uh, aiming down my sights. Crouching is the left trigger. That's so weird to me. All right, well, we'll fucking get over, I'm sure. Ah, uh, you must make your way to the top of the jungle cliffs and locate the allied pilot that awaits you. Eliminate any slag patrols you encounter in the jungle. That's right, they're called slag. Weird, gross name, but we're gonna roll with it. And I, there had to have been, like, I wish I fucking saw that opening cinematic to know exactly why I have an allied pilot all of a sudden, how this guy contacted me. From what I remember, oh, that's right, there is a, there's a white boy, a colonizer, uh, I think he's like a Union soldier too, but he is my main enemy throughout this game. Hello, that's a lot of, oh, is that the waterfall? That is a loud waterfall. Oh, and I got my pistol now, cool. Well, since this is my strongest weapon, I'm gonna save it for now, because I think I'll need it fighting other things. Uh, and what's going on over here? Sorry, I also meant to finish saying what I was saying. The um, there is the 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 big uh, the big enemy of this game is oh God, fuck me crocodiles. The big enemy of this game is um, some fucking uh, white boy who I think him and Turok are like arch rivals or something. Oh, that was a one shot. That was a surprise. But yeah, they're arch rivals. Uh, they don't like each other very much. He's about to kill Turok, I believe, and they fall off a cliff and both get teleported to this world. Somehow, I don't fucking know what the, the exact details of it are, but that is the situation. Oh, sounds like the slag beat whatever human patrols there were over there. Oh, that's, sorry, I need to do this too real fast. I need to see for subtitles uh, under, I mean, games like this, I don't know. Uh, does not look like there will be subtitles under less game options. Nope, I can turn the violence off though, that's good to know. Well, I'm gonna have to be very quiet during actual dialogue, maybe, because, like that. I don't know what the fuck that guy said though, because his voice is so funny sounding. Oh, okay, you already see me, huh? Well, fuck you then, I'm just gonna shoot at you with my bow and arrow. C take that, ow, fuck. Bullets hurt, dick. As much as these arrows hurt, I'm sure. I'm not, I'm not very empathetic towards you and your kind yet. I don't know you too well. I love how you can get their, like, you can knock their weapons out of their hand like this and be like, yes, surrender to me. Blow me, lizard man. Oh, that one disappeared. Did I kill? I don't think I killed that other one. Well, I heard you killing some human folk earlier, so I'm just, I'm sorry, dude. I'm, I'm gonna have to let you go. I'm gonna have to just, uh, yeah, you know what, maybe let's, oh, oh, no. Yeah, that's right. No disappearing. Okay. So mercy is an option. That's odd. That's so weird for a game of this uh, time to have that as the, like it's. I don't think it's like a relevant option. There's not any kind of uh, oh, what do you call it? Um, there's not any like fucking mercy benefits you'll get from it or anything. I don't believe. But it's still it's cool that they did that. Hello, my darkest fears. Oh god, I have nightmares about this shit all the time. By the way, you know what? Maybe it came from this game. Now that I think about it, fuck you, crocodile. Ow. Okay, that's not fair that you can hit me here, but fuck me, I guess. Okay, you know what? Fucking ah, there's a lot of them. Okay, so let's get into Gator Snapper's psyche really fast. Uh, one of the things I had nightmares about the most as a kid was that I'd be climbing along some cliff face and by a river, and then I'd fall into the, like near the like uh, bottom of the river near the shore and crocodiles would be coming for me and they just I'd see them in the water while I was still on the cliff and just be like oh fuck I can't fall down there that's the last thing I need right now and of course I'd still fall anyway so ha 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 good dreams I love them oh and you're all down there I think I maybe I need the pistol for these boys oh god cycling through weapons is gonna be a pain I imagine hey haha -ha. okay these hit uh, uh, uh. No, this is exactly the dream. This is the dream I have. No, I don't want this. Get away. At least I have a pistol now. It's like a lucid dream. I have a method of, of, of saving myself this time. There's still like four more crocodiles. I don't need this right now. Go, go, go away. You're too aggressive. You, you should be running at this point. I've shot you like five times. Okay. All right, we're good. Ugh, let me back up. This must be where the dream came from. It was from my days of playing Turok Evolution. Oh god, okay. We're good now. No need to worry. Oh, cool. Speaking of no need to worry, I don't even have to, I don't have to like reload guns or anything. Alright, assholes. I fuck it. I'm taking you down. This is me getting my fucking horrifying, traumatizing uh, nightmares absolved. And I saw the water moving, the like rippling water effect. I thought it was another crocodile. That's how bad this is right now. Alright. Fucking swim by. I'm sure all the crocodiles are dead now. Fuck, I forgot that was a thing I had to worry about. 
Uh, okay. Oh, I guess I could have gone over here, too. Uh, maybe, I believe, I know you can kill these brontosauri, but I don't want to. Is that what you'd call them, brontosauri? I don't want to say brontosauruses if it'll make me sound like an idiot. Alright, well, let's just go over here and hope for the best. And since I have these peaceful giants over here for now. Oh, I wonder if I could have, oh, here we go. This is climbable rope. Yeah. Oh, and they're giving me all the health for all those fucking crocodile wounds I've suffered. All right, thank you, thank you, universe. Oh, you can see, oh, whoa, 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 glitching around a little bit. Ah, uh, there's where I need to go. Okay, cool. I guess the key I need to open that doorway is somewhere over here. Oh, I remember this. All right, pulling out my axe. I remember this well. This is, uh, we'll see. Let's say it's just a very... Oh, yep. There, all the things fell down. Okay. This is Primate Central. Oh, God. They're already here. Oh, God. There's so many monkeys. Don't. No one knows why the rocks are tied to the monkey's life force, but that is how it works around these parts. The rocks... The rocks are... They only rise once all the monkeys are dead. It's the ultimate trap. Oh, that's the other thing about playing another game like Star Wars Jedi Outcast. This is going to feel like D&D &D to me, mentally. Mentally, this will be like D&D. Oh, and here we go. We've opened up the pathway through the, hor the horrific uh, crocodile lake. Or pond, rather. I'm not quite sure what quality... That's the thing I never understood, trying to, like, compare a, a lake and a pond, but... I mean, that's a debate for another day. I took water resources classes and hydrogeomorphology uh, classes, and I still don't know what the difference between a pond and lake is. It's like a size thing, but the size is kind of undetermined, and I'm just gonna fucking pull out my gun. Oh, did I sh Oh, I'm sorry, Brontosaurus, did I shoot you by mistake? I'm sorry, let me fucking fix the problem. Bad. Bad, creepy lizard man. Little thin boys. I like calling them that. I never called them that as a kid. I don't remember what I called them. Fucking twig lizards or something. Uh, let's fucking go over here, I guess, and then I can I can see what fresh hell awaits me, and then I can end the episode and move on to better things in this in this horrifying prehistoric world. Actually, I guess it wouldn't technically be prehistoric. It's I mean, uh, it's prehistoric in the sense there's all these uh, ancient animals here, but it's more of a uh, I don't know. It's 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 this is just the present as far as this world is concerned. Let me grab my air real fast. See how things are looking. Okay, surveying the situation. I see there's some boys over there, and I can shoot. I'm just like treading water over here, bow and arrow, knock. Just like, mm, eh. yeah. Wait, sorry, I missed. Hold on. It's really hard to shoot a bow and arrow while swimming. There we go. Oh, and he's running away. What a pansy. Let's shoot this boy too while we're at it. Eh, eh. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I guess this is why they gave me a pistol. It probably kills them much faster than this is doing. God, I love how they give them those... F oh, he splattered on that wall. Let's get a good look at that before the episode ends. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. It's very hard to get from water to land, it seems. Oh, and look, there's a little... It's the Boomafu. He's, he's having a good old time dancing around with the death of others. I realize people were shooting at me just a little too late. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to end the episode, everybody. Ah! Ah, get away, you fucking thin boy. There we go. Head, headshot, but not dead. God damn. It's a good thing these guys' guns are so fucking weak, it seems. There. Fuck, I was trying to end an episode, and all you guys fucking get at me in a firefight all of a sudden. Good thing your aim is shit. Well, on that note, I'm gonna end this episode right here. So, yeah. Uh, new fucking playthrough. This was one I'm excited about, so let's see how it goes. I hope it goes well. Uh, been Gage Snapper Playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.